guys, welcome back. All right, making some more progress today. Uh, update on the truck, because it's been running fantastic. I got it pretty much dialed in on the tune, uh, up to about five PSI. So to go past five PSI, I decided that I want to uh, install water methanol. I was gonna go, I was considering going with the 85, but uh, it's just not really available in my area like I'd like it to be. Uh, there's one gas station within 15 minutes of my house. But then outside that, it's hours away for the closest place to get E85 for fuel. So uh, water methanol injection seems to be the ticket for me. Um, I, I would prefer to do E85, E85 but uh, we're gonna go with water methanol. I got the AEM kit, I'll show you guys here. Uh, I kind of have it laid out. So this is the, the kit that comes with the controller where you start the PSI, you start the spray at zero or one PSI, and then you can ramp it in uh, to where it's full on. So I decided to go with this instead of having it completely controlled by the Mega Squirt for a few reasons. And when I get into the tuning, I'll show that. Um, but I like this controller. And if for some reason I decide I wanna switch to have it fully controlled by the Mega Squirt, I'll just sell this guy. These are about 150 new, so I could probably get a hundred bucks for it. Um, which isn't really bad because I got a whole deal on the kit uh, off eBay. There's a, a seller out of California that gave me a hell of a deal. This is the part number. So it's the version three kit and it comes with an updated nozzle. Uh, I'm gonna be running the 1000 cc nozzle. Um, and then their pump, obviously, I'm gonna mount the pump in the tank in the bed and it should go pretty smoothly. I decided to not, so it comes with a bunch of these, this hardware from AEM, but to mount the tank and the pump, I want to use these rib nuts. And I bought an Amazon rib nut kit down there. Uh, I've used it on a few projects already and it, it's actually pretty darn good. So I just picked up some bolts for the threads that size that I have for the rib nuts. Uh, I could have ordered some more to fit these ones, but I, it was just easier to do that. Um, these guys and then uh, the welding for that Y pipe I'm I'm not the best aluminum welder but I'm getting better so I relocated this is the bung for the intake air temp sensor um, so idle air control go valve goes to this big fitting there on the bottom the big round one is the blow-off valve and then this is where my nozzle is gonna go right here so I just welded a bung in there and um, so it'll spray in there. The path of the water methanol will go from where it sprays here underneath and then divide out through here. Intake air temp sensor will catch it there. And then it just does that elbow into the throttle body. If I decide to go to a dual nozzle, like if this one isn't putting out enough and I want to run two nozzles, then I'll change it up again. I'll probably build another piece just because this one's been modified so many times. Uh, but then run a nozzle in each tube and then I'll probably put the air intake temp sensor in the factory position in the upper in, uh, upper intake manifold. Uh, but I like to keep it on this so there's less heat soak. Even though I have that rife sensor, uh, I wanted to keep it up away from the upper intake manifold. So that's the plan. We're gonna mount the tank and the pump in the bed near my battery box. And then we'll run our lines and get it all plumbed in. The water methanol AEM controller has a, I think it's a brown wire, but it's a ground, so it sends a ground signal to that wire if there's a fault detected. I'm gonna plumb that, that wire into the mega squirt uh, under my data log in pin that I'm not using and that when that sends a ground to the mega squirt It's gonna I'm gonna do table switching. So I will have one map one fuel and ignition table completely for pump gas no methanol and then as soon as the If there's either a fault in the system or the system's not turned on It'll run on the non methanol map and ignition timing and then when it turns on and there's no fault it'll switch to a different VE table and a different ignition table to run, uh, change the fuel for the 
added fuel from the methanol and to increase the ignition advance. So yeah, pretty excited. Let's get started. Got her mounted in here. So intake air temp sensor, water methanol nozzle. It'll be spraying up, dividing through here and going in the throttle body. Got all my piping back up. This is where the intake sense temp sensor used to be. Now it's here. And I wanted it between the nozzle and the engine so I'd get real good accurate reading on how much the water methanol is cooling. So I'm going to install the tank and do the wiring and we'll be good to go. I'm in the back of the truck installing the tank. Uh, tank's right here. So I love these rib nuts. They are just so nice to use. Just so nice. So that'll mount the tank in there. I do a couple more and then I'm going to put the pump about like that. It'll be lower than the tank. Should give me a nice good gravity feed. All right, so here it is. Uh, this truck we used, when I was a kid, we used it to haul tons of hay. So the bed has just been beat to hell. Um, but we had about 20 horses. Pretty much my entire childhood. So my dad bought the truck new and we used it for the on the ranch. Um, we lived up in the mountains, so it was a lot of abuse. But I ran the wires down through grommet. And then the line here. This is kind of cool. I've never showed this before, but my uh, my battery box is an old Marine Corps frag grenade box uh, from when I was in the Marine Corps. It's kind of neat. I need. I meant to uh, put some sort of sealant on it so it doesn't get completely destroyed, but it's been underneath the canopy since the battery's been in there. But yeah, so there's the pump in the tank. Not going to be the easiest to fill with the canopy on, but when it's off, it'll be easy. And it's underneath the lip here, the bed, but it's got plenty of room to get the cap off. And then I use the rib nuts to mount this in down here. This is rubber isolated and then rib nuts into the bed. So it's easy to remove, easy to install kind of deal. Now here's underneath the truck. So uh, in that corner there, comes out through the grommet and both the lines run down. I just use these guys to, to attach it to the frame. And then uh, for the connection here, I used a, one of these Deutsch uh, connectors, waterproof connectors. So that way, if I want to take the bed off, I can just unhook this and unhook the line at the tank. And then I can pull the bed. Um, this obviously isn't a show truck. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright guys, so water methanol pumps installed, lines, tank, wiring, it's all hooked up. Uh, I ran a boost safety switch from the methanol to the, or methanol safety switch from the AEM kit to the mega squirt so that if there's any any like low fluid or any problem with the pump of, that the controller senses, it will send a message to the mega squirt saying, hey, go to a different fuel map, go to a different ignition map, so that way I'm not running into any of the issues. Uh, so I'll go show you guys what I'm talking about on the pump and we'll go do some tuning. All right guys, so we're inside the cab here. I just wanna show you. So I got the, uh, there's a warning light right here just a little LED bulb that I put in the dash if that's lit up I have an error going on I love the way the brick nose Ford dash looks I don't even like my pillar gauges a whole lot um, at some point I'm gonna go away from those and do a digital display either something in here or something temporary this is where I had my, a tablet just stuck to the dash there um, but it kept falling off under hard acceleration but so I mounted the AEM gauge in the glove box and it's just Velcroed in place there. And that way I can adjust the, the settings for when it turns on and when it turns off and how it ramps in. Um, yeah, so let's go for a drive. All right guys, I'm out doing some road tuning. Uh, traffic's heavy, so I'm not really do a whole lot. The water methanol system's working really well. I did find a, uh, that my ignition advance with the LS coils was retarding with RPM and I didn't realize that. Uh, the truck felt strong, stronger than it did before, uh, but even then it was retarding by about five or six degrees. So I fixed that with spark latency uh, and so now we're, I'm just going out for a drive trying to get the water meth dial. My fueling is a good 10% rich, so I'm dialing that back. I'll show you guys, when I get back, I'll show you the data log. Um, in the drive, but she's uh, she's running good. Closed loop's doing its thing. Um, sounds good, running good. A lot of traffic here. <laughs> she's ripping along. 
sound good though. So I'm gonna pull up the data log and go over that with you guys on the computer uh, and get this tune a little bit more dialed. All right guys, we're back from a successful drive. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys the data log and the tune here. So here's what I was talking about. Uh, so this is my gauge display. This is what you norm I normally look at when I'm driving the truck uh, on a tablet It'll be like a full screen like that <clears throat> Where it looks a lot better, but the format on this it's kind of the spacing is kind of funny um, Okay So I pulled the log up already. I have tuner, tuner studio ultra so it allows me to have the graphing and logging feature built into tuner studio, but if you don't get ultra you would have a separate program called Megalog Viewer. Um, I have a lot of data points on this guy here, but it's a um, very, very nice tool, very good features. But anyway, so the drive that we just got done doing uh, here is this green line on top here is TPS, throttle position. The white line is manifold air, um, I mean RPM, and then the red line is manifold air map uh down here there's the yellow trace that's for boost so i was about almost five psi on this just on wastegate i haven't turned my my uh electronic boost controllers on yet but anyways so the pole goes really well um about 4000 rpm air fuel ratio is pretty much spot on and then it starts going fat above 40 600 rpm down to about 11 0.0 AFR where my target's 11.7. Um, <clears throat> there's a section here where it's a little bit leaner. That's where I had pulled some fuel out already on um, my first water methanol drive, and it looks like I took too much out. And then I'm real good between 4,000 and 4,500, 4,600 RPM, right where I want to be. So I just need to pull a little bit more out um, up top and add a little bit down in the 3,500 to 3600 range uh, but it's I mean it's running great everything's working like it's supposed to when the water methanol kicks in manifold air temp starts dropping pretty steadily uh, I lost about five degrees on that first pull of manifold air temp uh, so it went from about 75 degrees to 70 uh, and it this AEM is spraying a ramped rate so it's not even f full in at this point with the 1000 cc nozzle uh, I just want to also show that so under uh, table choices I have my table switching set up so this is a safety feature so the EM kit has a boost safe wire that goes to their boost safe um, module and when that wire when there's a fault in the system it grounds that wire so I've set up the, the mega squirt and wired it to that wire so that when this data log in it's just what the, the pin is named you can name it whatever but that's just what it was named from stinger performance but so when that pin gets grounded it'll switch it'll table shift the fuel map and the ignition map to from ve table one to ve table three so ve table one is the one i'm running when i have methanol on and so that will be um a leaner map because the methanol is adding extra fuel and then if there's any error, it'll switch to VE3 automatically, even mid-pull, whenever it happens. And that's going to be a richer map. And this this one will have the extra fuel, you know, 10% or so extra fuel to cover up, to make up for the methanol not being injected. Uh, I've tested it. Same thing for the ignition table. So ignition table 3 will have retarded ignition and when the methanol is not spraying. Uh, this seems to work really well. I've kind of ran through a couple different tests and uh, it's going well. So the, oh, and, and one other thing that's pretty awesome with uh, Megalog Viewer, or Tuner Studio Ultra, I mean, is there's a playback feature so you can play your pull. So if I go to, let's see here, where's that wide open throttle pull? So these are my gauges. This is basically like I'm driving. And it'll play back the gauges on the display. So we're coming up on that full throttle pull here. So if I hit play, it's going to show me going to 100% throttle, revving it out, 4,900 RPM, shift, then 3,700, and then I let off. 
So it's pretty neat. It's useful, and uh, I, I'm definitely definitely enjoying it. The ignition thing I was talking about when oh, while I was driving earlier, underneath the ignition options, there's a spark latency latency setting uh, that is needed depending on the the ignition setup. And it looks like mine. I have it set at 70 right now. Uh, I need to go out and run it again, but that seemed to be pretty much right on the money for not letting my timing retard as I revved RPM. So I, I will double check that again next time I'm, I'm out. And uh, yeah, it's it's working great. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, to wrap up, just installed the AEM water methanol kit on the Turbo 460. Uh, I'm very happy with it so far. I've used about half a tank of methanol just ripping around getting some tuning done. Still need to work on the fueling a little bit uh, and then I can start adding some extra timing in there and see how it does. So also boost, need to turn the boost up. So right now with the electronic boost controller I'm only hitting about 5 psi. Uh, it's on wastegate, it has dual 60 millimeter wastegates um, and they control the boost extremely well, almost too well. So uh, it's a very flat boost curve once the wastegate's open. Uh, so it, it shouldn't be a problem before I was running about eight, nine PSI uh, before I cracked that piston. So I will uh, be turning it up at least to that, probably more, especially now that I have the water methanol. Uh, but thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Woo!